Tonight, we're taking a look at budget concerns state leaders are drawing attention to and one question being raised tied to university funding. One state lawmaker wants to know if Langston University isn't getting as much money as other public universities in Oklahoma. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us live from their Oklahoma City campus with a closer look. So Tom, is the university asking for more funding? Adam and Wendy, they are. In addition to annual funding requests, they're asking for $25 million to fund improvements to this building here, recently acquired so it can fully function as a campus. Now here's a closer look at all the different numbers here. We have a four-year institution here in Oklahoma that sometimes can't have class when it rains outside. Uh, in 2024. I don't think there's anybody who thinks that's okay. Tulsa Democrat Monroe Nichols says Langston University, Oklahoma's only historically black higher ed institution, needs increased funding for building improvements, student support, and more. On Monday, he sent out a call for the state legislature to set aside an additional $17 million for LU to start out with. A real signal that we got a real problem there as it relates to how we are supporting students of color. Nichols compared how much money the state has sent to Oklahoma State versus Langston per federal dollar. LU records showed that from 2014 to 2024, on average, the state sent more than $3 to OSU per federal dollar, while for LU, it was 47 cents. We know we have not done this right. Uh, it's time for us to begin to make it right and do it on behalf of students. A 2023 Biden administration report said that over the past 30 years, LU missed out on over $400 million that it should have gotten when compared to other land-grant institutions based on a per-student basis. Real impact on Oklahoma's economy, getting more post-secondary degrees, uh, I think is critically important for Oklahoma. Uh, and I think it has a huge impact on black wealth generation. From 2014 to 2024, LU says it's been underfunded by about $160 million. They're asking for that $17 million for fiscal year 2025 to match OSC's rate of state to federal dollars. They're also asking for $40 million for an agriculture biotechnology facility and $3 million in annual endowment investments. In a statement, LU said in part, quote, We remain optimistic these discussions will continue in a positive manner. Fox 25 reached out to the state higher ed regions for a response and to see how the state's funding for LU compares to other universities on a per student basis, but didn't hear back. And budget negotiations are ongoing as billions of dollars hang in the balance. Nichols says it'll be an uphill battle to get that 17 million for LU here. Now we did reach out to House and Senate appropriations leadership for their responses, but weren't able to get any. Live in Oklahoma City, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News. Thank you, Tom. Well, if you thought that maybe the third time's the charm with state leaders negotiating the budget, unfortunately, you were wrong. Governor Sid held day three of his budget summit with the House and the Senate just a few hours ago. Fox 25's Capitol reporter Peyton May tells us where your tax dollars are being held up. Tensions are high for the start of the week with no agreement in sight. The governor spent the two hour meeting asking over and over again the same question he wants a clear answer to. Mr. Speaker, will you vote on when you talk about an income tax cut with your chamber? Yes, we will. I think it's somewhat laughable that you look at the speaker and say, will you do one? That's obviously a setup just to make me look bad. The governor didn't back down on getting answers. You didn't answer my question. Will you do a tax cut, an income tax cut for Oklahoma? He asked again. So the answer is no, you're not going to look at an income tax. Governor, we have looked at an income tax. We decided to go with the for tax. And again. Are you telling me you're willing to take a tax cut vote as long as the revenue and expenses? And governor, I'm telling you, it's like I've told you since day one, you don't run the Senate chamber. I decide what goes up for a vote on the Senate floor. The Speaker of the House taking his chances at asking the question. I just need to know, is the Senate going to support some version of a personal income tax this session that would be part of this budget? No. Okay. Cutting off conversation on tax cuts, they ultimately went line by line on the budget numbers without a final agreement. Lawmakers have until May 31st to come up with a budget. Reporting at the Capitol, Peyton May, Fox 25 News. That was your big story breakdown tonight. You can learn more about budget concerns on OKCFox.com.